Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video is the February budget. How'd that go? Kind of revise with you my February budget. So I have it right here. And here it is, you guys. Yeah, I was cutting it close this month or last month, I should say, because today is March 1st. Yep, already. Can you guys believe that? March 1st. Poof. Time goes like that, especially when you're having fun. Have fun, you guys. Have fun. Enjoy every moment. Enjoy every day. <sighs> Have a good life. All right. Here we go. You might ha hear noise in the background. Cora is sweeping, mopping, doing her thing. So yay. Yay for me. She gets to do it this time. Um, all right super sidetracked <laughs> here we go here we go february 2023 all right food i ended up spending 220 right below 220 but i'm just gonna round it up to 220 dollars dollars cell phone you guys know it's the same 15 dollars home internet now we got home internet that's fifty dollars then there is the combination, the city utilities, which I nicknamed city utilities, it's water, trash, sewer, and whatever other stuff they tack on. That uh, was right around $90. Electric went down, thank goodness. It's uh, 162 is what I paid. The natural gas, oh, natural gas bill ended up being $127. Okay, that also included the deposit and activation fee, yada, yada, yada. So next month's bill should be significantly lower, which was only around $30 or so, somewhere around there. Get back, Popeye. Okay, home insurance. I put $95, which is a little bit less than $95. Oh, Lord. You two get down. All right, get down. Okay. But I round up to $95. All right, now, um, home maintenance, still haven't had any. Thank God, nothing yet, nothing yet, guys. Uh, let's see, van insurance is about $30. Uh, van fuel was about $45, so. Not too bad there for some gas, $45, not bad at all. I always put miscellaneous of 100 because there's always like, you know, you gotta get shampoo or lotion or whatever comes up, you know, just anything. There's your $100, so I always include that. And then I started Planet Fitness again, as you guys probably already saw that, that's about $15 a month. So here we go. The total, and I was scared to add this up. I was like, oh gosh, I know I gotta be at least a thousand or over. I was like, oof. But I went ahead and calculated and it was $975. So anyway, you guys, uh, and Cora put her stickers on here. She even put, I don't know if it's on there right or not. Like sometimes it's flipped. But she put, love you, Mama Dia, and then like two different stickers. So I woke up to that probably last week. <laughs> that was a surprise. That's cute. But yeah, you guys, I was scared to add it up. I was like, oh my God, these bills are getting higher and higher and higher and higher. And I'm like, ah. But still, it was under $1,000, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. I am always trying to keep it at about $1,000 or less. Even with this inflation and all the higher prices, because even like the electricity, the gas, all that, it's gone up a little bit. <sighs> still, it's still at a thousand dollars or less. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, because uh, I do my best. Well, okay. I do almost my best. <laughs> I can't say my best because my best would be like on point extreme and I don't I don't want to go that far but I'm trying to keep it 
as close to it or below a thousand dollars if possible that way i'm able to save as much as i can and build up that emergency fund and i keep mentioning building up emergency fund because it's very important it's very important in general but it's very important to me it's like my my extra insurance my safety net my go-to my extra income you know i did i depend on that i really do and if you have your emergency fund, you know what I'm talking about. That is a huge help when things happen and when the H SHTF or anything like that happens, you know, you know, you got yourself covered, you got your family covered, you got your house covered, your uh, car, all that, whatever comes up, you're good. You're good. It's such a peaceful, peaceful, um, I don't know, peaceful feeling to know with security, especially as a woman. You know, I, I really do need that. So I've been working on it, guys. I've been working on it. $12,000 doesn't come cheap and doesn't come easy. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, $975. But guess what? Last month we had the electric bill because it was Antarctica here in Oklahoma. We, <laughs> we saw the little bit of Antarctica here. And that was $185 and some change, I think. This time it was $161 and some change, but that that dropped about $20. Can I say something? And you're gonna come over here and say something? I'm gonna tell you because we also stopped one of the heaters here and we started using uh, curtains for the drafts and stuff and to block this, so mm -hmm. it should go down a lot more. Yeah, yeah. So I'll show you real quick. Well, I'll make a video actually on if you heard Cora or not. If you didn't, then I'll just cut some of those out and kind of explain to you more in detail what we've done to kind of make our electric bill go down some. I'll share more of those tips too because we are switching things up just a little bit just in the evening when we go to bed and that has actually helped lower our electric bill. So I'll be making a video sometime soon about that one too. Now another biggie that's gonna be kind of changing, hopefully not too much, but it will increase. We are doing two different kind of extreme grocery budget challenges now, starting March 1st. So until further notice, so <laughs> we shall see how this works out. But we're doing two different kind of um, grocery challenges one geared more towards keto and the other one more towards a plant-based now these are not a hundred percent we are not like a hundred percent strict on anything but we're still gonna do everything as frugal as possible because I don't want my my budget to go too crazy but yeah two different kind of extreme grocery budget challenges one for Cora and one for me so we shall see how that works. I'm gonna try my best to do about $100 a month for myself. And I know Cora's is probably gonna be way more than $100, but I'm gonna try to keep it as close to $100 with her keto um, type of eating diet. I don't know what you call it. Cause she said that it really has helped her. It's more like a non-inflammatory. So it helps her joints. It helps just her body feel a lot better. So I want her to feel better. She wants to feel better. So we're gonna gear her diet more towards that and try to keep it as close to $100 a month as we can. We shall see what it actually is. So stay tuned for those videos too, you guys. But anyhow, I figured I'd share with you my February budget, February, 2023, what it was. And I made it under $1,000 for that this month, 975. So that is awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.